What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and spring is right around the corner and I could not be more excited because it is one of the best seasons of the year. People are excited, you can put away your puffy coats, your heavy boots and go outside to enjoy the nice weather. And with the fresh new weather comes new trends, new styles. So today we're gonna go over 10 of the hottest style trends for this spring. And before we start, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, guys. I'm posting a lot of fashion outfit inspiration there for you guys. A lot of hairstyle pictures, travel inspiration, grooming tips, etc. My Instagram is at Alex Costa, is this one that you see here. I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description below. All right, let's go into number one pinstripes. Pinstripes are back in style, all right? They were super popular in the 1920s, 1930s, and they're having a huge comeback now, almost 100 years later. We're talking nice light shirts with pinstripes, suits, and even trousers with the pinstripes. I was a little bit reluctant with the pinstripes at first, just because I'm more of a minimalist type of guy, right? As most of you know, if you follow me on Instagram or see my YouTube videos. Now, I caved recently and I bought a couple of tees and some button-up shirts, pinstripe shirts, that I'm gonna be rocking this season. So you're definitely gonna be seeing those all over my Instagram. All right, let's go to number two tan suede Chelsea boots. Now, as you guys know, Chelsea boots had a huge comeback recently. They've been trending for a while, and the tan Chelsea boots, so the color tan, not the number 10, it's gonna be super hot this spring, all right? You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Chelsea boots. I own a couple of the tan Chelsea boots, black, gray, brown, light gray, and I own every kind of Chelsea boot now that I can actually think about it. They're not going anywhere, all right? The trend is actually gonna last a while because they're super comfortable, they look amazing, and they can actually be dressed up or down, which means they're really versatile and easy to style. Jumping into our number three trend, we're already seeing this everywhere. I've talked about this in the beginning of the year as one of the biggest trends for 2019, cross body bags. I, I literally can't open social media, even Facebook, and not see someone with a nice cross body bag. They're everywhere. And with all the hype around them, popular brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Supreme, every single brand, they're actually focusing on improving the design and coming out with some really cool bags. Now, you're not gonna carry a laptop in them, you're probably not gonna carry a lot of like clothes or anything in there, but you could fit some of your essentials, especially if you're traveling or spending the whole day out. In my opinion, I think they're more of a fashion statement than anything else. They're not too practical, but that's up to you. What do you guys think of the trend? Do you have one? Do you think I should get one? Let me know in the comments down below. Number four, something that I actually didn't like and then I tried one and I kind of fell in love with this trend, Cuban collared shirts. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the classic Cuban collared shirt, they are kind of like an open collar, they're short sleeve, super comfortable, nice and breezy shirt, which means popular for the spring, popular for the summer. It just gives off this chill, beachy vibe. Like the breeze is going through it, you're feeling good, you got like a, a drink in your hands, you're on your boat, whatever, like I think that is where it shines. And if you don't know how to style it, because I know it can be a little bit intimidating to wear something new sometimes, well, I would suggest going with a lighter color denim or a lighter color chino. Which brings us to number five on today's list, light wash denim. Now. They say that fashion trends usually run in cycles of about 20 years, and in this case, it actually seems to be true. There's a lot of 90s hype right now, and washed out denim is one of the throwback styles that are trending. The key to wearing these lighter shades of denim is actually keeping it casual. Don't try to dress them up too much, they're supposed to be casual. And if you're new to rocking light denim, go for a slim fit, try to pair them with white shoes because they actually tend to work a lot better than dark shoes and have fun with it. Number six, multifunctional vests. Now, I've seen so many dope vests coming out recently. Top notch fashion brands are all about them right now and there's a lot of hype. Now, something that I'm noticing on every single one of these vests, pockets. Pockets everywhere, zippers everywhere, just storage in general. You know, recently I've seen really nice ones, even from Louis Vuitton. Drake actually wore a vest to like every single concert of his tour recently. I went to one and I thought it looked really, really cool. So I'm sure that kind of put more hype into the trend. However, my personal opinion on these, I think they're really popular right now. They're gonna peak in the spring, peak in the summertime maybe and then kinda of, kind of crash down uh, in the fall or winter time, end of 2019, beginning of 2020, but only time will tell. Number seven, one of my favorite trends, cropped trousers. Now, the cool thing about this trend is that cropped trousers for men can be worn casually or formally now. You can actually rock them with a polo and white sneakers or even a shirt and tie. Either way is acceptable. Even though the trend is still you know, skinny or tailored trousers, I have seen some fashion forward dudes rocking the baggier cuts out there. It looks really good on them. I'm just not sure if it's a look for everyone 
just yet. I'm more of a slim or skinny fit myself, so that's where you're gonna see it on my lookbooks, on my Instagram. But honestly, you can find crop trousers anywhere. H&M, Zara, and then like more expensive like Reese, Koss, Nordstrom, etc. Number eight, vintage watches. Smaller vintage watches are super hot right now. I've seen some older models of watches being sold at crazy prices in really high-end auctions, which means everyone from watch collectors to modern hype beasts are actually into this trend. It's just that the history behind older classic watches is so rich, you know, there's so much to learn about them. And once you learn this story of a specific watch model, you sort of, you kind of like end up falling in love with that piece and the rest is history, then you have to own it. Also vintage watches, they just don't lose a lot of value, you know, as much as like a new watch. So keep that in mind if you're investing in watches in the future. Number nine, something super hot right now, wearable tech. Now I'm seeing this everywhere bomber jackets that charges your phone and a watch that does everything for you, you know, bags that light up in the dark. I definitely don't recommend wearing wearable tech like smart watches with a suit or when you're going for a more formal look, I just don't think it looks good. It looks a little bit tacky. I wear my Apple watch all the time and I love that thing, but I usually wear it when I'm working out. I could be hiking, I could be going to the gym, I could be going to like a, a training boot camp, whatever. I'm all for it, but not when you're wearing a suit. I like the movement. I like where we're going with this tech. All right, please make me a shirt that washes my dishes. Please make me sneakers that run on the treadmill for me. Step it up, guys. Come on, we need this trend to keep going. Number 10, rings because you have to wear less clothes in the spring than you do in the winter time. Obviously, you can't really be layering things. You can't really get all of that fashion in. You, you can't be as creative with your outfit. That's when the accessories come out. Rings, they add a little bit of flair, you know, a little bit of uh, bling to your fit. They make it easier to stand out when every guy out there is wearing a stupid t-shirt and jeans. Every guy out there is gonna look the same. So you guys have seen how I like to st stack my rings. You know, I go for some bracelets, some rings. I usually do two, sometimes three rings when I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. So get some, play around with them, and let me know how you like them. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram, at Alex Cost. I've been posting a lot of content there for you guys. I'm always traveling posting some hairstyle inspiration, some fashion inspiration, grooming inspiration as well, and travel pictures, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.